day 10 of coming alive at Christmas, guys. I promise I'm not always in my car, but tis the season to be running to and fro, right? To and fro. Who even says fro? <laughs> I did just now. I hope you guys are having an amazing time coming alive at Christmas. And today we talk about the family tree. And um, all family trees have a little mixture of function and dysfunction. Some more of one or the other, but uh, we all have a family tree, a um, family that God has brought us into, but the awesome thing is that we are a part of the family of God, and Matthew chapter 1 starts out after 400 years of silence between Malachi and Matthew, starts out with the genealogy of Jesus, and it, we can have a tendency to see all those names and not get excited about them, especially when they're really crazy and hard to pronounce, but they each represent a story and a life that was part of Jesus's family. And because of that story, people like a prostitute named Rahab and an, a foreigner named Ruth and a sinner who committed adultery named David, those are the people that were grafted into Jesus's family tree. And guess what? So am I and so are you. And Romans 8 tells us that we can cry, Abba, Father. We can call him Father. We are sons and daughters of God. So we can come alive at Christmas today knowing, I have a nice little shadow on my face knowing that we are in and a part of the family of God. So let's celebrate that today, that God put your name in his family line, and that we as the body of Christ get to be family together, and that one day in heaven we're going to have a big old family reunion, and I'm sure there will be um, Christmas party food there. Have a great day coming alive as a part of the Jesus family tree.